Just take a bit of time from your daily schedule and take a look onto the mirror. Are you looking somewhat like that? And you want to look back like this? Then I must guarantee you this video is surely for you. Namaste and hello everyone. I am Sujoy Roy, student of second year physiotherapy from Nopani Institute of Healthcare Studies, Kolkata. So today we will be discussing one very important and a very common postural deformity that is the forward head posture. Right. So what is it? What exactly is forward head posture? As the name implies, it is actually the forward or the anterior translation of the head over the cervical vertebras. So how it actually looks somewhat like that. If you are assessing a patient from the sideways, you could see that the head is normally or the ears are normally in line with the shoulder. But in case of a forward head posture patient, the head translates forward like this. So what are the some of the characteristics? Let's discuss the some of the important characteristics that is the hyper extension of the upper cervical vertebra that is the C1, the C2 the hyperflexion and of the lower cervical vertebra along with the upper thoracic that is the c6 the c7 and the t1 the protraction of the scapula right this gives a rounded shoulder appearance due to the weakness of the retractor which we'll be discussing on later in the muscular impairment the shoulder also gets protracted and there is a rounded shoulder like appearance associated with the kyphosis of the upper thoracic vertebras then we can expect a bit of thoracic kyphosis especially in the upper thoracic region and problems associated with the TMJ right TMJ stands for the temporomandibular joint or mainly the chewing muscle mainly the chewing areas and the muscle related to the chewing they are also so all the characteristics which I have told are being enlisted over here you can just check on on the characteristics Moving on, let's move on to the symptoms, right? So we will discuss some of the symptoms of the forward head posture. So first and foremost, the most important symptom is the neck mobility issue. The patient with the forward head posture are having muscle imbalances and muscular tightness and weakness, which leads to the restriction in the basic anatomical movements of the neck. Then the patient is having tightness and spasm of the muscle around the upper shoulder, the neck due to the tightness of the upper trapezius. The patient may might face headaches which are also known as the cervicogenic headache. These headaches are special kind of headaches because in this the upper trapezius and the chewing muscles are also being involved. The pain from the head radiates along the masseters, the pterygoids up to the upper trapezius. Moving on, some other symptoms are the respiratory compensation that is due to the tightness of the anterior chest muscle. The patient may have respiratory problem that is the patient may face breathing difficulties, his vital capacity may lower down. This all problems may occur in case of the severe forward head postures. Now we look on to the potential muscular impairments. Every postural deformity has got some muscular impairments. There are group of muscles which go for the tightness and there are some group of muscle which go for lengthening. The muscle going for the tightness are having the mobility impairments and the muscle which are lengthened are actually weak in nature. In case of forward head posture, first we'll discuss about the tightened muscle. So as you can see, the tightened muscle over the anterior aspects are the pectoralis major, Deep to the pectoralis major is the pectoralis minor, the serratus anterior. Posteriorly, you can see first of all is the upper part of the trapezius, the latissimus dorsi. These are the two superficial ones. Then the group of the suboccipital muscles and then the levator scapulae. Now if we look laterally, First is the sternocleidomastoid and then the all the three scalenae that is the scalenae posterior, the scalenae medius and the scalenae anterior. 
and some of other muscle which also go for tightness are the muscle related to the chewing and the TMJ that is the masseter, the pterygoids etc. Now I will be just checking about the lengthening muscle or the weakened muscle. So first of all looking on the first of all looking on the anterior aspect the weakened muscle anteriorly are again the two small suboccipital muscle that is the rectus captitis anterior the rectus captitis lat lateralis then are the deep neck flexors that is the longus captitis and the longus coli now moving posteriorly some of the lengthen muscles are the superficially the middle part of the trapezius the lower part of the trapezius and deep to them are the scapular retractors that is the rhomboidus minor and inferior to is the rhomboidus major. So these all are the lengthen so muscles. Now we will be discussing some of the causes behind this forward head posture. The main and the most important cause is the posture of a person. That's right. If you are maintaining a faulty posture during your day to day daily activities, you are ought to get a forward head posture. I mean to say that if your sitting posture, your sleeping posture, they all are faulty then you may face this problem when you are sitting for a long time on the computer or you're playing your favorite video games on the mobile or you're toggling through the social medias on the mobile or a faulty sleeping posture this all can add up to your forward head posture next is the occupational demand there are occupations which require long hours of sitting on the computers, laptops, mobiles which can again cause the involuntary forward translation of head towards the screen which again predisposes to one of the major causes of the forward head posture involuntary and unknowingly the subject is being slowly moving his head towards the screen which causes the, again the hyperextension of the upper cervical vertebras there are some of the examples that is when the person is sitting sitting for long hours in front of the screen in case of office jobs in case of clerks this all people are ought to face and forward head some of other causes are the sedentary lifestyle a person who is all time at the home doing no exercises doing and doing none of the physical works is again susceptible to have a forward head posture some of the other causes rather than the faulty posture adopted by the subject are again the neurological problems the musculoskeletal problems the pain over the uh, neck region this can also cause the forward head posture right till now we have been discussing the symptoms the characteristic the causes but many of us would be like can we even cure that I mean, I need to see, say one thing that in Hindi there is a proverb that Har raat ke baad hi savera hota hai and wo savera hum physiotherapist hai Right, we bring back the life and try to eliminate all sorts of pains from the patient's life and bring back a new essence in their life So let's jump on to the exercise regimes Exercise regimes of the forward head posture. I have divided it into mainly the five categories. First is the kinesthetic awareness. In this, we try to bring the normal anatomical movements in the patient. In case of pain, we will use the electrotherapeutic modalities. And then, if still the patient is not able to make the basic movements, we can go for passive range of motion until and unless patient is aware of his own muscular movement. Right. Second step is the mobility. Mobility here will be stretching all the tightened muscle so that they loosen up. The third step will be the strengthening. The muscle which have go gone for the lengthening and are weak needs to be strengthened to correct the muscular balance between the strengthened between the strengthened and the weakened muscle. Right. So next part is the cardiopulmonary endurance. In this, we tend to build up the basic general endurance of the patient 
the conditioning of the heart the respiratory system this all are also necessary for taking part in any exercise regime and for the better conditioning last and finally the fifth step that is the functional training this is a high demand sport specific training for the patients who are returning back to a normal sports life or who want to go for higher intense training so this five regimes i will be starting with each one of them I hope everyone liked the video. So until then, it's me, Sujay Roy, signing off. Stay fit, stay healthy, and don't be that pokey chin guy. Bye bye.